I'm afraid to fly now. Well, maybe just a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I want to go back to do some world traveling again. You know, I want to do that. But hey, look, hundreds of Boeings at risk of midair explosion. Remember when, remember when airplanes used to be safe? I mean, yes, there was an accident here and there, but that was the safest way to travel, you know? So the U.S. Federal, A uh, US Federal Aviation Administration, probably the first time in a long time, issued a directive earlier this year warning that the, a defect in the Boeing 777 airplanes could cause fire or an explosion if unaddressed. It is unclear whether the plane's operators have addressed the issue. Jesus Christ. Can, can we at, not have a moment of peace? I mean, planes are falling apart. Trains are derailing. Bridges collapsing. Roads filled with potholes. Pete Buttigieg, what the hell are you doing? All right? Are you just jerking it off in a corner somewhere? Yeah, you, you are the Secretary of Transportation. This is your job, by the way, right? Now, now it's going to get absolutely worse. So they don't know if they address the issue or not. Hey, let's have democracy in the chat. Type one for Kit. I'm confident they address the issue. If you type in one, I'm smacking you in the mouth. Type two, dude, you know they didn't address the issue. The correct answer is two. All right? They didn't. They didn't. Okay. So anyways, the directive uh, was issued in March. Let's see. So April, May. So, okay, two months ago. While the FFA solicited uh, comments until earlier this month amid a series of safety incidents involving Boeing aircraft, the Daily Mail reported on the publicly viewable document on Wednesday. Isn't that awesome? According to the FFA, a metal plate attached to a fuel tank vent on the wings of the 777 was installed without an electrical bond. <laughs> so what does that mean? Meaning it could potentially accumulate static electricity and cause a fire or explosion in the jet's fuel tanks. Hey. Not following the instructions, not putting an electrical bond on it. And look, I don't know anything about building airplanes, but making sure things don't blow up. I mean, that should be their job, right? But oh no, according to the whistleblowers, many of whom went deceased. That's right. Uh, turns out these planes are being built half ass. And I'm being generous with half ass. Hell, it's not even a quarter ass. There's no ass at all. It's like Hank Hill. That's the amount of effort that's being put into building these airplanes now. They're not safe to fly. Some of the 200. Oh, hey, this, hey, this will keep you up at night. So whenever you hear an airplane flying up over your head, you might hear a kaboom. Some of the 292,000, uh, some of the 292. Sorry, I got that wrong there. 292. Still, that's a high number. I was going to almost thought it was 292,000. It's 292. Uh, 777s registered in the U.S. could be at risk. The directive warned all variants of the 777 from the base model 777-200 uh, to the long range 777-300ER are affected. Boeing dismissed the daily. Of course, Boeing's going to dismiss it. Dismiss the Daily Mail's report insisting that the proposed directive is part of a standard regulatory process that has helped ensure air travel is the safest form of transportation. Boeing, you do not have the right to say that to people right now, okay? You got a bad track record, okay? Doors, whoosh, falling out. Wheels falling down. Planes, literally turning off and doing that deep nose dive. Pressure in the cabin, getting loose. Like, Boeing. Two whistleblowers deceased, even if this was an accident. And let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say it was self-deletion, right? It still doesn't make you guys look good. But I do find it suspicious that the whistleblowers did somehow conveniently pass away just before they're supposed to show up at court. And I know Boeing, but hey, we had nothing. Boeing, Boeing, shish, you don't have a leg to stand on, baby. They go on to say this is this is not an immediate safety or flight issue, the company stated. There are multiple redundancies designed into the uh, modern commercial airplanes to ensure protection for electromagnetic effects. The 777 fleet uh, has been operating for nearly 30 years and has safely flown more than 3.9 billion passengers. The 777 is the world's most built wide-body airliner with nearly 1,800 delivered to operators around the world since 1995. It has been involved in 31 accidents or incidents, a, a relatively better safety record than its smaller pre predecessor, the 767, which was involved in 67 accidents out of around 1,300 aircraft built.
Boeing's overall approach to safety has come under scrutiny in recent years. Two deadly crashes in 2018 and 2019 grounded its entire fleet of short haul 737 MAX airplanes. Well, this year has seen multiple incidents took place, starting with a door panel whoosh being blown off midair on a 737 MAX 9 operated by Alaskan Airlines in January. The U.S. Department of Justice is still considering prosecuting Boeing, still considering over the 2018 2019 crashes, which killed nearly 350 people and were caused by an errant pitch control system that the company has not informed pilots about. So how do we end this segment? Well, there's a song about whistleblowers. Young man, his name is Jesse Wells. He's on TikTok. You know, normally I like to promote Jesse Jet, but this, this here, we're going to end this segment with this song right here. Whistleblowing. You can know a lot. You can know a little, but whatever you know, just don't blow the whistle. Joshua Dean had a man, Murray Keen, he was strong and he ran every day. But his lungs turned to goo and he had a stroke to at 46, he was sent on his way. Swampy Barnett loved his mother and he took a lot of pride in his work. He found 300 reasons why a plane couldn't fly and now he's over his head in the dirt. You can know a lot, you can know a little, but whatever you know, just don't blow the whistle. You can toot a flute, you can play the fiddle, but whatever you do, just don't blow the whistle, all right? Boeing's got planes in the sky, yeah, but Boeing's got men on the ground. Oh, you mess with the shares, buddy, beware, they can make sure that you land safe and sound. They keep cutting their deals with the FAA, USA, fantastic lawyers of law. A little blip of the whistle, cause they're bonus a little, but you can't never see what you never did saw. You can know a lot, you can know a little, but whatever you know, just don't blow the whistle. Your life can be trash. Completely dismal, it could always be worse if you just blow the whistle. Right? And that's how we're gonna end that segment. That's how we're gonna end that segment, folks. Just be careful if you fly, all right? Keep your heads on a swivel and be safe out there, folks. <laughs>